It's an Olaf Tycho's annual fall concert. Yeah. We're so excited to see so many people here. I know we also have some people joining us via the live stream. We're so excited to play for you as always. It's an honor and a joy every time. I am Adam, I'm the president of Tycho. And I have a question for you though. Is there anyone in the audience for whom this is your first Psycho concert? Yeah, oh, quite, oh wow, a lot of people. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what the ensemble is and how it works. Everything, well this is Japanese drumming, Japanese ensemble drumming. And everything is built up from the timekeeping drum which is called the shime. It's the drum that's tied with the rope over on stage left. It plays relatively simple repetitive rhythms usually, that's called a G, and everything rhythmically in the song is built on top of that. The next thing in the kind of hierarchy of taiko for the most part is the o daiko. Those are the big drums back there. They also generally have more simple rhythms, but they're kind of the heartbeat of the ensemble. They come from the, the base of the ensemble because uh, North American taiko is actually descended from the jazz tradition of the 1940s. So it's kind of like bass, which leaves the melody for the chu daikos, which are on the angled stands right there. Those are the middle drums. So they, for the most part, have the lead parts that are more exciting and rhythmic, although, again, that's not a rule of taiko. Um, with that being said, the song we just played was called Raku. It's a very traditional taiko song that's heard all around the world. Uh, although our particular version of it is also very traditional to our particular ensemble. That's kind of how taiko tends to work. This next song is called Biscuits and Danger. It is so named because the legendary Stephen Braun of St. Olaf Taiko wrote the song, and he named it after his favorite thing, Biscuits, and his least favorite thing, Danger. No further ado, here's Biscuits and Danger.
Hi, great. Um, hi, my name is Alyssa. I am the vice president of Tyco. Uh, thanks for listening to Biscuits in Danger. Our next song is called Matri, uh, which means festival, and it's another traditional uh, Tyco song that is well known in the Tyco community. Um, it's traditionally played at festivals. Uh, surprise, surprise, based on the name. Uh, so a lot of the rhythms come from traditional sounds that you'll hear at Japanese festivals. Um, and it's been around for a long, long time. Um, and I actually remember learning this song when I was really little. Uh, I grew up listening to Taiko. It was one of the first songs I remember ever listening to, ever learning. Um, and it's a very familiar uh, rhythm. So if you're familiar with Taiko community, this song might sound a little familiar. But it's also unique to St. Olaf Taiko, as it's unique to most groups. Um, most Taiko groups have their own unique version of Matsuri. Um, and for us also, um, this song features our Kohai. Um, so all the new members um, that joined Taiko this year, they all learned this song. This is their first song they learned joining Taiko. And all of the members up here are uh, Kohai members. Um, so without further ado, Matsuri. Hello, everybody. I am Blake. I'm the historian this year, which is a new role. Um, <clears throat> the next song we're playing is called Oichi, um, but I'm going to tell you a little bit about the history of it. So in Taiko, in St. Al Taiko, because everything gets passed down orally, a lot of stuff can kind of get lost in translation through the years. Um, so what we call the song now, Oichi, can be translated as the greatest or the biggest, um, sort of. <laughs> but um, in doing some research and trying to recognize like what came before us um, and trying to recognize some of the history, um, 
we found a song called Oi Uchi, uh, which is one of the first uh, ensemble taiko pieces um, performed. And that means blow against a retreating enemy or finishing blow. Um, and there's actually a bunch of other songs that are still being played, like Yodan Uchi and Nidan Uchi, um, which are also probably derived from that. Um, but so in recognizing that history, this is Oichi or Oi Uchi.
That last song is called The Waterbender. It is one of the four songs in our bending suite, which is a set of four St. Olaf Tycho originals that are all written about a show called Avatar The Last Airbender. They've been with us for a long time. Um, to pass the time here, we have a, quite a big drum move here, so I'm gonna give you two Tycho fun facts. All right, are you ready? First Tycho fun fact is that Tycho is an oral tradition. We don't write any of our music down and we communicate all of it through a verbal system called Kuchishoka. There are different syllables that mean different types of hits. And so you don't need to read music to be in Tycho, and you certainly don't need to write music to be in Tycho. I just think that's neat. Uh, the second fun fact is more particular to our ensemble, and that is that if you have been to a St. Olaf Tycho concert before, you may notice that we're dressed a little differently. Just a couple weeks ago, our new Hoppy came in. Hoppy are the coats that we wear. They are traditionally what any Tycho group performs in, and we had not been performing in them for the last couple years for a, a, a for a variety of reasons, but we have our brand new Hoppy now. This is the first time we're performing in them, so we're really, really excited about that. <laughs> that is my second Tycho fun fact. With that being said, we are not gonna play all four benders for you today. We are gonna play one more. It's called Earthbender, and we're almost ready to go here. Earthbender is a really neat song. You'll notice some splits across the chews. They're gonna play pretty technical, fast rhythms. Uh, so watch out for that. With no further ado, here is Earthbender. We are going to go straight into a song after this, which is called Joba, and that is actually the last song of the night. But for now, here's Earthbender.
before we go, I have a couple quick orders of business. We can start moving the drums now. Okay. We have a bit of a secret extra song that we like to do. And the main people it's a secret from are our Kohai, our first year members. So we're going to get all the Kohai up here on stage. Yes, this is not a lie. Um, and what we do is we play Raku, the very first song we played, but we play it really, really fast. They're like, what? Yeah, this is real. We're playing Raku again, but we're playing it super fast. We do this every year, and we never tell the Kohai, and it's great fun. <laughs> While we move drums into Raku position, I have a couple thank yous, and I've written them down, so I'm sure that I don't forget. My first thank you goes to my amazing leadership team. Can you really quickly raise your hand if you're on leadership? Yeah, Blake. Yes. I could not do any of the things I do without them. They really, especially this year, we've been working so hard with so many things behind the scenes, and I really, really appreciate them. My second thank you goes to our faculty advisor, Rana Keshki, always working again for us behind the scenes. Uh, she's just a really, really great person. Many of you have probably had classes with her. Uh, the music department itself for letting, uh, for letting us rehearse in your space. Thank you to the music department. Also to OSA, the organization of student organizations that we operate under. Thank you to you guys. Uh, Broadcast Media for streaming the concert. Um, it looks great out there, I'm sure. It always does. Uh, we really appreciate what you guys do. And the pause text and pause security for operating the pause with all the lovely lights that you've seen here today. Aren't they great? Yeah. My very last thank you goes to all of you, the audience. I see that we actually ran out of chairs today, which I'm very happy about. I think that's really great. Um, so with no further ado, we do have one more song for you. And it's just Raku again, but it's really fast. 